So I've made a new version of the Play Night Sounds plugin. Uh, it's no longer uh, a PowerShell script, but now it's a C Sharp project, a normal plugin. So one of the changes is that you can uh, have the settings here in the settings menu. Uh, I also added options so you can disable sound in, for example, desktop without deleting the files. You can still delete the files if you don't like a certain event sound, but you can completely disable it in a desktop version of full screen or yeah, just never dis do it. Um, I also added options for music, but I will uh, show that later. Um, volume. Um, so the basic functionality is still the same. Play sounds on uh, on, on play night events, for example, selection or playing a game. So let me quit it quickly. So one of the new things I added is uh, music, as I said before. So if you enable it, uh, let me enable it. I will enable it in desktop and full screen. You got options to specify if you want to hear one music all the time, the same music for every game or every platform, or one music per platform. So if the platform of a game changes, then the music will play the, the music for that platform. Or you can have a music per game per platform. So any every game has a different music. Uh, if a certain music file does not exist, the music stops playing. Um, there was a bug, or is a bug, uh, with this setting that I could, rep could reproduce consistently, that the sounds of selection stop playing if you use the music. If that would happen, I would suggest to either reload the audio files, or disable the music if you have that bug. Uh, I'm releasing this version, so you can experiment with the music, but I know there is a bug that sound can stop playing, and I haven't been able to fix it. But uh, Play Night 9 is going to get uh, sound support out of the box. So this plugin will become obsolete, but you can still play with it. Also, if it still happens, you can always go back to the previous version, the PowerShell script version without music. So let me enable the music. So now I have enabled music. Uh, one music for uh, for every game. So if I switch games, the music keeps playing. Um, you can also view here the file name where it's supposed to uh, be saved the music file. So this is a music mp3 that should be saved in the music folder of the extension. Uh, the data not the, the data folder the data folder and not the install folder anymore. Uh, the extension now copies the WAV files upon the first uh, the first time it's, it uh, sees that there is no sounds folder to the plugin data folder. So you don't you don't have to do it anymore in the install folder. Please back up your uh, previous audio files because the a new version of the extension will override uh, the, the current audio files. That should not happen anymore with any new version I might release. Okay, so back to the sounds, to the music. So that's one music for the whole play night. But you can also specify a music per platform. So what happens then is, now I have a music for uh, selected for PC games. And as long as a game is a PC game, the PC platform, it will keep playing the same music. But if I select... Uh, for example, a platform that does not have sound, a music, it stops playing. Or if I go to a platform... Uh, let me check. 
That has another music, it will start playing that music. Uh, was it Xbox? Yes, but I need Xbox here. So it starts playing that music. If you scroll through games, that has no music, it stops playing for that platform. Huh? Because the platform is different with the other games, it stops playing and it always plays from the beginning. Um, and the final option is... A music file for every game. So if any game that has a music file starts playing the music file. This one should be familiar. But if you select a game that has no music, the music stops. And you can always uh, verify again the name of what the music file should be in, with using this option. It uses the game name uh, without any special characters and it's located in a folder per platform. You can also open the music folder from within the plugin and it opens it. Uh, if you selected a game with a specific uh, platform it should have created the, the platform folders already otherwise you have to create it yourself. Uh, so these are the music files per platform, these are the music files per game and this is the main music file if you select to play one music file for the whole uh, play night. Um, let me select again a music. You can also change the volume of the music. And it will be if you cancel it will be saved only when you press save. If you change the volume to zero and you press cancel, it will be reverted to the previous value. Um, let me select again a setting for one music for all games. This obviously also works um, for the full screen application. more thing. Um, so I have enabled music and the music is playing. Uh, let me check again. It was a short hike. When you start a, a game, the music is paused so that the music is not playing while you play your game. Otherwise you will hear the music from your game and from the play night music playing. But when you quit the game, the music will resume. So, it should work in most cases, I'm not sure if it always works. Uh, but let me know if you have a problem with it. So yeah, that's the new version. Uh, hope you like it. As said, there could be a bug where music stops playing, uh, sorry, where songs stop playing, if you select this option or this option. I haven't been able to reproduce it with this option and I also haven't been able to reproduce it if I set the music to not to never play. Uh, but I haven't found a fix for it. Should it happen, then you should uh, reload audio files. And you can do that using the extensions menu, play night sounds, reload audio files, and they should start playing again. So yeah, that was it. Hope you like the new version.